One of the best places to start selling software is to home service businesses. And a home service business would be HVAC, plumbing, roofing, stuff like that. And inside Google Maps, you just scroll in on any city. We're gonna pick Tallahassee. Now, the niche we're gonna go after today is called HVAC. And HVAC is a heating, cooling, air conditioner. They do a lot of services. Now on the left side, we're gonna be able to see the Google business page. And if we click into it, we're gonna be able to see reviews. And if they have a website, you'll be able to go to their website and see how that looks as well. This one looks pretty decent. If you keep scrolling on the left side, you're gonna see that there are some that don't have websites like Aaron's Heating and Cooling. You have directions, you have book online, but he doesn't have a website attached to his Google business page. So you can go ahead and call this guy up and try to sell him a website. Now I did pull up a couple websites that are really, really awful. And I'm gonna show you why they're awful here in a second. So here is FCS Air and Heat. Now their logo in the top left, it looks really pixelated. So that right there is not a good sign. Now, if we scroll down, they have a few buttons here to click, get a free estimate or our services. Now the get a free estimate brings us to a separate page, which does slow down this process a little bit. What you're supposed to do is have the contact form actually on the web page itself. Now he did a good job here with your name, phone, email, and content of message. That's perfect. Try to keep it as minimalistic as possible when trying to get information from somebody. Now, if you can tell the website's loading very slowly, I'm trying to go back right now, and I have gigabit internet, so this is actually on their end. So we'll just try to refresh that again. There's a lot of wasted space on the right side here, and this doesn't really line up that well if you look at the texts, and the button's are a little off center. It's not really great. It gives a kind of weird aesthetic feel to it. Now, if we scroll down, you can see that he has a branded truck. That's perfect. Um, I would have that front and center at the top, just kind of showing that he's a legit business. He does include his license number here, which is great. And he's got a little bit about himself here. Now they do have a service page here, which is repair, replacement service and duct work. I can't click any of these though. So that's not great. Uh, the contact us button here just brings us back to the contact us page. That's his call to action. And then that's it. That's the website. So very, very small. It's not a very good website. I mean, you could contact this person and actually redo their website for them and add some more functionality to it. Maybe an AI chatbot that you can add using programs like Go High Level. Now, if we go back to the Google Maps, we're gonna go down, we'll just find another website. So here's Air Solutions Tallahassee. The biggest thing I have about this website is there's just a lot of text here and the contact us button is so small. Like it's very small. Like I don't even know if you can see that. I have to zoom in so you can see it to 200%. So that needs to be fixed. The call to action needs to be big and it has to be a button. That's the extent of this web page as well. Just a single hero section here. Um, it shows some of the companies that they use. Like I mentioned, the call to action needs to be front right there, right in the beginning of the web page, a contact us form. And that just helps get customers to this business quicker. He's got nine different pages on this website. And the thing is, people aren't really gonna go clicking around on this website and try to figure out exactly what each page is. They really just want a one page website with a contact us, free estimate, call to action possibly, and a form fill. And that's pretty much all you need for home service websites. So this one, I would rate this like maybe a D. Now, another one I found is Donald Heating and Cooling. They have a sliding banner. They have a contact us for free estimate. That's good. I would maybe make that a little bit better. And if you wanted to see if this website's mobile optimized and you're on computer, go ahead and hit F12. And it does look like it's mobile optimized, but you guys are seeing what I'm seeing. There's just a lot of text here, way too much text. And he has a YouTube video embedded here as well but it doesn't start auto playing, so I would fix that. It does look like there's some overlap here uh, on the banner. And what I would do is I would break this down into multiple sections. He has everything kind of grouped up into one huge text block. And these pictures are very, very small. I would have them take up maybe a quarter of the page and then have some text off to the left side. So I would give this a C. It's okay, but definitely he's losing out. And the contact us for the free estimate, for some reason I can't click the button. Oh. There we go. One of the banners, it was broken, but the next banner came through and it worked. So he has the contact us page here, that's good. Like I mentioned, I'd like to see that on the home page. You're asking, how do we go ahead and build these websites? The easiest way nowadays 
is to use no-code software. And what no-code software is would be some type of website builder. Depending on your skill level and what you're comfortable you know, spending on learning the software itself. It also has a bunch of other features like email workflows and marketing tabs. So there's a lot of stuff you can do inside Go High Level. And if you are using Go High Level, all you have to do is hit sites on the left side, hit new funnel, and then you can just pick an actual template. We're gonna type in HVAC at the top. And the great thing about Go High Level is they have a ton of templates here that you can just use. Now don't run with the actual template itself. Take the template and go ahead and then from there, you know, delete whatever sections you don't want. And then you can move forward into adding in their information once you do sign them on as a client. Now, as you can see, there's about 12 of them here. So we're just gonna go ahead and pick this one here. Looks pretty good. You just hit continue in the top right and it's gonna add that into your websites. Now, once you have this open, you can connect a domain and I have a separate video inside of my community that you can check that walks you through every step to connecting the domain. It's really, really easy. We just use Cloudflare for my systems. Simple to connect that to these Go High Level websites. Takes about maybe five, 10 minutes. And then from there, you can just go ahead and start adding everything in. For example, you can add their logo in up here, click the logo, and then on the right side, there will be a spot where you're able to actually upload the image right here. And as you can see, everything in this website builder is click and drag. So if we wanted to click any of this and move it around, we can do that. Let's say this is too many buttons. We don't want that there. And we can mess with these sections as well. That way this is a little more lined and you can always change the color of these buttons as well as add animations. So there's a lot of functionality in here that really helps the process flow smoothly. Now, as you can see, there are multiple call to actions going down this page, get a free quote, get a free quote, book appointment, book appointment. We have the book appointment at the top right as well up here. And here's the social proof section. And if you don't want that, you can just delete that completely. Maybe delete free ask questions. There you go. Little bit smoother and simpler. To actually make these buttons do what you want, you go ahead and book appointment, you click the button itself. And at the very bottom, it's gonna say button action. So it's saying, what is this button going to do? So you can have it open a pop-up and then on there, you can have your form fill. That way they don't even actually have to leave the website. It will just have the pop-up right there. And we can add some urgency in there by saying book appointment today. Then all you have to do is hit save and publish and you can actually go ahead and see what the website looks like by hitting this eye icon in the top right. All right, looks pretty good. Like I mentioned, I would spend about maybe an hour to fill out this completely for your client. And you can do a lot of practice ones just to make sure you know how to build a website properly. And you can sell these websites anywhere from $1,000 to $2,000. Some on the low end, depending on how much effort you're putting into it. Some people maybe can't afford the actual build price, so you can offer that to them as a bonus. And then you can just charge them monthly because you definitely wanna have monthly reoccurring revenue built into this business model. I won't sell a website unless it has monthly reoccurring revenue in it, so that is a big, point for me. Now you may be asking, where do I get these clients? So finding website clients is actually really easy. I showed you one process already, which is super simple. Just using Google Maps, it's a great place to start. You can also use Google Maps scrapers such as Outscraper. I would contact your internal network and see if you have any friends or maybe know somebody that works in a company that doesn't have a website yet. So you can check that internal network to go ahead and get a warm lead. As far as outreach methods with this business model, you wanna make sure that you're doing cold calling. These companies are available for you to look at their information on Google Maps. So you just go ahead and give them a call and it's super simple to just go ahead and figure out why they don't have a website yet and if that's a solution that you can offer them to improve their business. I would suggest making these calls yourself because then you're gonna understand what these business owners are doing with their business and why they don't have a website yet. Maybe they may not need a website, but they need Google review request or some other functionality of Go High Level that you can sell them. Now I'm gonna walk you through how I price these, okay? So these are the services that you can sell. I always let people know that starting with a website is one of the easier ways to get into this business model. So a simple website in a day is perfect. You can use the template that I just showed you. And down here, it's only $150 a month, and you can charge a website build on top of that, $500,000, depending on the size of the website and the amount of time that you're actually putting into it. Now, 
Once you have your foot in the door with the website build, then you can also upsell them other services. So another service you can upsell them would be AI chatbots, lead nurturing, database reactivation campaigns, missed call text back, Google My Business reviews, and you can charge anywhere from $300 a month for these services. Depending on the pain points of the client you're speaking to, you need to custom tailor these solutions to them based on their pain points, right? Now, the next one would be expert services. If you're a little bit more seasoned and you know how to run Google ads, Facebook ads, this is a great strategy because you're able to actually manage their ads for them and managing someone's ads for them is about $1,500 a month. Depending, you can start lower for your first few clients, but this is a nice range because of the amount of effort that you're gonna have to be putting in for this company. And the last one here is a fully built out custom website, multiple pages, fully custom. You can charge 2000 plus for this. And like I mentioned before, always have a hosting fee, maintenance fee, because sometimes their website's gonna change. And since you're hosting it on your platform inside of Go High Level for this example, then you need to be able to get in there and change stuff. This hosting fee covers your time for going in there. Now, if you're interested in learning more about how to start a SaaS or a SWAS business, go ahead and click my link down below and you can join my free community. I have tons of resources in there and we do this kind of stuff every day selling to local businesses. I hope to see you in there. I'll catch you in the next one.